there was no concept of time. It was so disorienting. I was so terrified. I have never in my entire life been so terrified to be blasted out of my body, to leave my body behind, to be going at warp speed backwards through my own DNA, out the other end, into the universe. I reached across and it was suddenly I'm in the universe, in this huge void, with these beings on the other side, and I put out my hands and this incredible rainbow of pink light went between me and these entities. And I was trying to make it be like a white light, but it was this incredible pink light, this energy of love that we, this capacity of love that we as human beings have that I was trying to just send to them. And I looked around at my environment and I was trying to absorb everything to understand, but there were all of these machines or structures or things that, that I had never seen before, that I had no idea what they were. I was like a caveman in a computer lab. I didn't have any idea, but I knew in my intellectual awareness that this was a very advanced civilization or life forms or, or whatever they were, they, they were so far advanced from, from what we know here on Earth. It was all very, very impersonal until I got to the space where I realized that I was in the area where souls await rebirth. And I was there and I had been there so many times before. I recognized it and this incredible transcendent peace came over me. I have never in my life ever felt such peace. Everything was stripped away. Every hope, every fear, every attachment to the material world was completely stripped out of me. I was free to just be the essence of a soul. So I didn't know whether it was my birth I was re-experiencing, my death which was yet to come, because I, I know that time crumbles. The linearity of time is totally meaningless in these states. You are at the Godhead, the point where all time folds in on itself. And so I went right into this white light. As soon as I went into it, I lost any sense of being different, any sense of what I was doing, past, any sense of future. Uh, it was absolutely blissful and euphoric. And I just felt like it wasn't I. I was everything. I was the light. There was no sense of separation, no shadows, no differences, no past, no future. It was all present and white yellow light. Then I felt myself falling out of this light. And as I fell out of it, I could feel the light was like a glow, like the sun with flames coming out and lapping out. And I could already start to feel this tremendous separation. This is like the actual core of where all of reality is emanating from. This is where meaning comes from. Symbols were pouring out, they were intertwined. Every symbol or and letter and in every language was pouring out of this point. And there was no I, there was just a sense of a witness being suspended in this incredible vaulted space, like a cathedral made uh, out of stained glass of all imaginable colors, unbelievable brilliance and saturation of color, just this amazing pattern in this dome, this gigantic dome, it was it felt like you know the size of the, the of a small planet. And there were these winged beings. I don't remember exactly what they looked, but were like angels, something like angels, that were majestically kind of flying through the space. But there was something about the quality of how they were flying that was unique. I'd never seen anything like it. It was like, I don't know, the sense of uh, another realm that was there.
my sense was at, at some point there was this implicit sense this is the divine realm this is the divine realm and it, it was not like a thought but it was like this implicit kind of grokking recognition after the medicine wore off uh, there is that familiar sensation of kind of coming back into the body and I do remember that that was part of almost all of those experiences of kind of coalescing back into sensory awareness and a sense of having a body and of that becoming a little more substantial and then say, oh yeah, here I am and I live in a body and I'm okay. What we see here is such a tiny part of what is real. I get really frustrated because of course there's no way to prove that where I went was deep space that I encountered you know, other entities, other life forms that exist in this universe. At some point, maybe our civilization will become advanced enough and we will throw off these anchors of impossible thought, that these things are impossible, that it's, it's not, you know, that they're, everything that exists, exists where we can see it. This is not some recreational thing, and I don't believe anybody should enter this lightly. It is life transformative. It will perhaps shake you enough to realize, you know, that you need to be awake to the fact that you don't know, and that is the beginning of starting to know.